take your seats, please, because um, we're going to have the Children's Day show and tell session, which is one of the funnest parts of each year's PyCon. And um, of course, it'll yep. be the children who are doing the demonstrations. So you don't need to feel bad if yours aren't as good as theirs. And they'll be doing live demonstration things that I have never dared do in all my years of <laughs> standing in front of people. So I'm going to hand over to Nick, who's going to take charge now. Thank you very much. And um, here's your connector. Aha. OK, so uh, can you hear me, first of all? Yes, you can. I can now hear me, even. Wow. Um, so uh, while we are setting up, because uh, as you can see, I'm sure many of you have done live demos before, um, it's quite an exciting thing to do. And you need to make sure that the hardware is ready. So we're just doing that right now. Um, let me tell you, in the meantime, what we've been up to in the Children's Day uh, today. Uh, this morning, there have been quite a number of workshops that involved Raspberry Pis and Minecraft and Microbits and Python and Python and a bit more Python and speech synthesis and flashing lights and uh, um, a sort of Instagram type stuff as well and writing games and Python and things like that. So um, the children have been uh, hard at work uh, learning in the morning and in the afternoon we've given them about an hour and a half to come up with a project that, uh, that they would like to build given the knowledge that they learned in the morning. Um, and uh, what you're about to see are the fruits of these labors. So everything that you see now has been done in about an hour and a half this afternoon. Now, those of you who have ever been to the London Python Code Dojo will know that this is quite a challenging thing to do when you're a professional developer. But when you are a <laughs> child and you've only been learning Python for three hours, this is epic. So. Uh, They've already started. <laughs> we're, testing, we're testing, we're testing, we're testing. It's like, OK, so I have no idea who's going to be coming up on the stage. Um, so I'm looking at Carrie Ann because you might be able to tell me or help me do this. Um, uh, so I'm going to introduce these two, and then perhaps you can have the next lot lining up ready to go. OK, so yes, basically all the children go to where Carrie Ann is if you're showing something, and you'll go into a line, and then we'll get you all set up. So you'll just have to excuse us while we kind of do logistics between each of the demos. This won't be like a lightning talk where, we, where we, we're quite um, mercenary about this. We're going to be quite sympathetic. So who do we have here? Edward Noon, Rowan Farhi. OK, so can you tell me what have you done this afternoon? What's your project? Uh, we've made two-player turtle racing. Two-player turtle racing. So what, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Well, basically, in the morning, we had to program um, turtle racing, and it was random whoever won. But what we've done is we've changed it using some programming from a later um, thing that we did in the afternoon, where using how we shake a micro bit. And um, we've made the first two t uh, turtles, which is the blue and red one. Um, move if whenever we shake this micro bit. Can, can you show us? OK, if I go on your marks. OK, ready, ready. Oh, oh okay. hang on, hang on. Starting the code. Oh, it's drawing. When they've all done their little spinning around, OK, so they're, they're, they're lining up. The starting blocks are ready. Oh, and they're off. I'm ready. I'm ready. Come on, faster. Shake them. Faster, faster, faster. Come on. Oh, and it's the, it's the grey one. Oh. The grey one, was that one of you? No. That was a computer controlled one. So that was the game AI one. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. Could you please give them a round of applause? Okay, and we have the next people to come on the stage. This is Oliver. I should have prepared some jokes or something, shouldn't I? 
Uh, do you need a projector? Yeah. Nope. Okay. It's all in here. Okay, so this is, this is Oliver, and Oliver told me that um, he likes to be able to send secret messages to his friends in class. So his idea was to create some code to run on these micro bits that we were given and to send some messages. So do you want to explain how it works? So you press a button, you can press any. If you press A, it sends a message to from this micro bit to the other one, and it says that this lesson is fun. If you press. So there you go, as you see. As you can see, he pressed on that button, and it's actually displaying on this micro bit. Number B, B button B. Is shall we meet at playtime? And just do. Don't just have to wait for it to finish. Okay, and to explain the next one. Sorry. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to do the last one? And. Um, a and B is, this lesson is boring. <laughs> so just to show the last one. And there we go. So this is using the um, microbit radio module to send a signal from one microbit to another. Well done, Oliver. That's Logic 101 with a microbit. Okay, so up next we have Caleb. Caleb and Caleb, do you want to come over here and stand by me? Okay, now Caleb, what is it that you've been doing? I have got a snowman generator. So if you press M in Minecraft, it will spawn in a snowman. Made of blocks. Made from blocks. Made from blocks. What, like breeze blocks or snow blocks? Made from snow and what different coloured wool. Okay, okay so um, do you want to show us? Are we ready to demo? First, yeah, first of all, this is a bit of a good PyCon story as how this came about. So, have we got Zeth in the room? Is Zeth here? Okay, so I believe Zeth wrote the inputs library for Python. And yesterday, Martin, where's Martin? Martin around, Martin O'Hanlon, there you are, there we stand, there, look at that. <laughs> Yesterday in the education strand, we set Martin the problem uh, of um, trying to get key presses in Minecraft Pi, in Python, because at the moment Minecraft takes those key presses, so you can't do something when you press a key. So. Martin created SuperKeys, which is now up on GitHub. It's a very early version. I think it's going to be polished a bit more, which means that now you can get keyboard input in Minecraft Pi, so you can press a letter M and have a snowman appear, hopefully. Have you? We can't. We need to pick install something. Oh, okay. It, it should have been in the folder, but okay, you can install it. No, we can't. We can't. Okay, just bear with me while we have one of those other inevitable technical hitches. Okay, I'm afraid because we don't have the right libraries installed <laughs> and we can't connect to PyPI, um, we can't install the thing, so we can't demo uh, the, the project that we had planned. So Oliver, I think, deserves a round of applause for making... Um, a snowman generator. Now then, uh, who do we have here? Chloe. So, Chloe, you've walked on stage with a bundle of wires attached to a micro bit. Um, what does your project do? It takes photos of you, but it changed it into Minecraft instead of real life. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> Can you, Chloe, can you tell us how you did that? 
It's, we use like a, the little micro camera thing and we took a po picture of ourselves and then it changed it into Minecraft. And then we used this thing and it did a little countdown and then it took the photo. Okay, so do you press the button on the micro bit? Is that the thing that sets it off? Yes, it does. Okay, so you press the button on the micro bit and it counts down. From five to five to zero. Okay. Uh, and uh, and uh, uh, five to one, and then at one, what does it do? Then it takes a photo of you, and instead of putting it for real life, changes it into Minecraft. It changes it into Minecraft. Now, are we there yet with the hardware? Very nearly. Very nearly. Um, so, why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> okay, are we there? Okay, um, bear with us here. Um, you're being very patient. Thank you very much. This is where I should have brought my tuba, isn't it? Um. <laughs> ah, right, okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um. So this is what it's been like all afternoon. Well, actually, all day, really. Um, children clicking around randomly on 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 the computer and following instructions and um, and failing uh, and then trying again and learning from the failures. Um, and how are we doing, James? Sorry, it's not. It's on the memory stick. Okay, just sorry, bear with us. Okay, we're flashing the micro bit. The micro bit is flashing. Okay, okay, we're doing something different now. Sorry, please bear with us. Uh, inevitable technical hitches here. Okay. Okay, let me set this up for you. If you talk a bit. Hello. Um, do you want to introduce yourself to these lovely people? Hi, I'm Emma. And what have you been doing today, Emma? Um, well, I wanted to create a micro bit that played My Chemical Romance, but unfortunately the software on it made it sound like an 80s synth, so I've changed hello, it to hello. kind of like the Pesh mode. Um, it doesn't sound totally right yet, but it's um, nearly there. Yeah, so there are some people in this room from the 80s, um, so they're going to enjoy this. Can't get the stuff these days. Okay, I'm going to hold this next to that, and when you plug it in, it's going to play Depeche Mode. Do you need to plug it in, or do you, can you not just press your... But it, needs, it needs power to plug in. Yeah. So plug it in somewhere with power. Shall we do it again? Blink it, you'd miss it. Awesome. Well done. Well done. Okay, so the important thing about that is that we have some melodies built into the MicroPython on the micro bit, um, but that was a student-composed melody, and she figured out what the, uh, what the domain-specific language was for um, writing musical melodies um, and created one herself, which is rather awesome. We think we're there with the selfie, snow uh, selfie Minecraft thing. Are we ready?
So you're going to press the button, it's going to count down. Line. Uh, there we go. Now, click flash. Flash, that's it, yes. Well done. Live debugging. Someone's paying attention. Okay, hang on a second. It's still, it's still flashing. Okay, I think we're good to go now. Ready? Press the button. Two, one. Oh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> if that's what I think it is, that's amazing. Well done. Well done, Chloe. Well done. <laughs> well done, Chloe. That was really good. How long did it take you to do that? Um. Uh, however long we had. <laughs> however long we had. So that's about an hour and a half. Well done. That's really cool. It's building on the tutorial that was already on. So there was a tutorial to do this on, on them. What we did was add the micro bit using similar things that were in the, we learned in the morning, pressing the button to interact from the micro bit into Minecraft. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, round of applause for Chloe. <laughs> um, next we have... Okay, we have another Minecraft one, but of course we've just closed Minecraft down. Okay, so who do we have here? What's your name? Ruben. Ruben. Um, what have you been doing, Ruben? Um, I've been doing the PyCon logo in Minecraft using wool. So, different coloured wool. Sorry, did, did you just say wool? Yeah. Which is. So, it'll show a pixelated image of the PyCon symbol in Minecraft. Using wool. Wool. Using wool, right. I have no idea what you're talking about because I don't play Minecraft. But somehow using wool, is that, ah, I know, is that a type of block? Yes, it's a type of block. I'm being an idiot, that's why. So if this works, and I'm sure it will, we'll see the PyCon logo. Right, okay. Let's see what happens when technical support do their stuff. Ah, unexpected indent. Tabs and spaces. Oh, no, at the top. There we go. James again. It's James again. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Back to game. Whoa, look at that. Woo! How long did that take you? Uh, half an hour. Half an hour. <laughs> How old are you? Eight. Eight years old. Half an hour. And what you can do with Python and Minecraft. Thank you very much. Well done. Another round of applause, please. <laughs> Who do we have next? The speaker's here. The red one goes in pin zero. This is for speech. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Say it like that. 
OK, let's swap it over. So I'll tell you what. What we have to do is just use a pre-prepared micro bit. And we're just doing that now. OK, hang on. Let me just say, let's just unplug it first and then plug the speakers in. OK, okay let me just help you out. Right, before you plug it in, who are you? Um, I'm Alex. Okay, and what have you done and what are you going to show us? Um, I've kind of programmed what I think uh, Stephen Hawking reciting poetry will be like. Okay, and what's the poem? Um, it's an extract from The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. Edgar Allan Poe, written in MicroPython, recited in the style of Stephen Hawking. Much upon the midnight, you're my life, but dear, we can't wear it. Oh, your media quaint and curious love, but for a cut and war. Why lie about it? Nearly nepping, shut and we never came a nepping. As I'm somewhat dead to your epic, repping at my chamber door. Still some visitor, I'm a dear, nepping at my chamber door. Oh, we miss and nothing more. Ooh, spooky. The end. The end. I wondered if the closed caption were going to be able to work out what the speech synthesizer was saying, and they're shaking their heads at me. <laughs> How long did that take you to do? Um, I guess around 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. And how old are you? Uh, I am 13. 13. Fantastic. Well done. That was a great achievement. Well done. Round of applause. That's it. And up next we have... Oh, <laughs> controversial. Okay, so I've just had someone whisper to me, this isn't Python, it's Ruby. <laughs> oh, come on, we need to celebrate coders. We're the Python community. We, we celebrate diversity in language. This is important. This might go bang. It didn't go bang. Are we ready? Uh, okay. We're just retrieving, retrieving the Ruby from the USB stick. And this is Sonic Pi, isn't it? Okay, so while James is setting things up, do you want to just come over here and, uh, so who are you? Uh, Tom. Hi Tom, and how old are you? 13. 13, and uh, what are you going to show us? Uh, various sound clips that I've made, probably with a different story for each, if I can think of one in time. No, okay. So, <laughs> so you were using a tool called Sonic Pi, can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, I just found it today, I saw sound in it, I thought, okay, why not? I didn't realize it wasn't Python at the time until you all just announced it. So, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> the important thing to know is that it doesn't really matter what language you use as long as what it is that you want to do is done, okay? Now, you've just wiped your brow because I can see that it's ready to go. Can you tell us what's about to happen? Uh, the first one... Yeah, I think so, yeah. I have no idea what this was. I was just following the tutorial. Okay, let's see what this sounds like. That was it? That's the first one, yeah. Okay. Here's another one. Buffer two. Yeah, this goes on forever, so we're going to probably have to cut it off after 10 seconds. That one 
one was my rejected pitch for the Windows 9 startup <laughs> sounds. <laughs> Any more? Um, that one. Last one. Yeah, this lasts forever as well. But this is the sort of thing you'd play to put a baby to sleep, isn't it? I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have Windows 9 again? Can we play Windows 9 again? Yes. <laughs> In a moment. In a moment. James has been enthusiastic, shutting down the previous thing to get the next person ready. He's being tidy, he tells me. Oh. <laughs> okay, so, are you ready to go? You are, right. So, who are you? I'm Katie. And what are you going to show us, Katie? Well, what I did with my micro bit is I programmed it so it flashes in different lights. And when you click one button, it shows different images made by the lights. When you click the other one, it makes the word hello out of lights. And when you shake it, it shows an angry face and says some words. So, <laughs> so can you hold your micro bit up like that? And can you shake it and stop? Is it an angry micro bit? Yes! Ah, there we go. Fantastic. And it says some words as well? Yeah, it, says, um, it spells out some words and then it shows an angry face. Oh, fantastic. Oh, well, thank you very much. That was great. Round of applause, please. <laughs> Last one. And we have two more left. The Windows 9 sound is ready. The Windows 9 sound is ready. But there's no audio. So which one? I think we should suggest that to Microsoft, don't you? Okay, right. Okay, so, um, okay, uh, is this sound or speech? Speech. Okay, so Carrie Ann, would you like to talk for a bit while I set this up? Hello, back again. Um, okay, so do you want to introduce yourself why Nicholas sorts out your sound? You are? My name is Orn. I'm Andrew. Okay, and how long have you been programming for? This is my first time doing Python programming. I've been doing it for about a year, I'm not sure, probably. Okay, so a little bit experienced programmer and someone who's brand new to Python. What have you been programming in before you found Python? I was just using Scratch before that, which I've been doing it for much longer. Okay, how about you? I was programming with Scratch. Okay, so do you prefer Python now you've had a go? Yes. Okay, and what do you like about it? Um, you can do a lot more things. A lot more things? A lot more things. Okay, are we ready? Um, so. This is the micro bit that I've plugged the speech synthesizer into, but it's not plugged into anything yet. So, plug it into the, yeah. so if I plug this in here, of course it's all going down. Okay. So, so, so what, what, what's going to happen? We have created, um, so we use this, what do you call this again? Micro bit. We, we use the micro bit and we use the radio um, module on it to um, transmit a radio message, which is speech. Helicopter. What? Helicopter. Harry Chopter. Helicopter. Helicopter. <laughs> and again. Well, well, it wasn't my idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> and again. Helicopter. Why do you keep interrupting us? Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties, I see. So, you are transmitting the message helicopter from this micro bit to that micro bit. And when this micro bit receives the message, it says helicopter. Does it work the other way around? Yes. yes. I'm glad I asked that question. <laughs> 
Shall we convert the thing so that it works the other way around? Okay, carry on. You've got about 30 seconds to tell a joke. Uh, knock, knock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're cowboys. <laughs> The I learned that from Martin yesterday, so you can blame Martin for that one. I don't know any jokes. I'm going to hide. Nick broke something. Almost there. Right. Ready? Try it now. Hello, you love Balkin. What? Hello, you love Balkin. Hello, something. What was that? Hello, you lump of cheese. <laughs> Hello, you love Balkin. So it was. Fantastic. Why would you say something so rude? <laughs> Fantastic. Well done, gentlemen. That was really, really good. Okay. It's almost singing it. It's almost singing it. Right then, gents, we've got the next, the last one to come on. So if you want to take your micro bits. Stop it. Okay. Have we have everything? Yes, we do. There we are. Fantastic. Okay, well done. If you come and stand next to me. So, who are you? I'm Maxwell. Hi, Maxwell. How old are you? Nine. Nine. And what are you going to show us? I'm going to show you a dice. A dice. Okay, fantastic. Um, can you tell us how it works? Well, you shake it and it displays a random number from zero, 1 to 12. So it's a 12-sided dice. The special, but the special thing about it is I discovered a bug in the system when working with it, which stopped me uh, from, fi um, from finishing the code, which was really annoying. I see. And which system was that? I'm dreading to ask this question because I might have written it. Uh, which system is that? It was on Moo. Yeah, I probably wrote it then. Okay, we can talk about bugs in a minute, okay? Do you want to just demonstrate? <laughs> Do you want to just show us, if you come to the front, because this is a microbit thing, and the problem with microbits is that, you know, they're small. Okay, so, uh, take it away. Shake it. Ah. Shake it, and it would display a random number. Like, if I can shake it properly. Yeah. There we go. Ten. And again. Eight. And again. Nope. And again. One. Fantastic. We have a dice. <laughs> so, can you tell me what the bug was? Well, the bug was stopping me from coding it. Um, it was something to do with... <laughs> can't remember now. <laughs> okay, you can show me when we get back to, this, to the room, can't you? Okay, fantastic. A round of applause then, for Maxwell. <laughs> okay, can all the children who have, pre have presented come onto the stage and we give them one final round of applause? So Maxwell, you're going to have to come back up again. Okay, so um, 
this is like the class of 2016. Uh, Carrie Ann uh, said to me just uh, while we were having lunch, um, she said, you know, so this afternoon we're going to have a bunch of coders. They're going to be sitting at tables and they're going to be doing projects together. And there's food and there's lollipops because we're in the kids' class. It's, it's kind of code sprinting for kids, isn't it, really, is what we're doing this afternoon. Um, but because we have made such a mess and because there's such a lot of equipment, we would really appreciate uh, some volunteers to come with us once this is finished and go over to tidy up. That's the sort of volunteers you were asking for, Carrie Ann? I've got it wrong. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Um, we wouldn't be able to do this at all if it wasn't for the volunteers who help oh. us do this. <laughs> So if you have helped out with the children's track today, would you please stand up? Martin O'Hanlon, I'm looking at you. Mark Scott, who's got a broken foot, that includes you, you can stand now. <laughs> can we give these people a round of applause? Okay, folks, that's it. That's the education track for 2016. Finished. Well done, everybody. Thank you very much, you lot, for coming. And I believe next year we'll be doing the same sort of thing again. Awesome. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you so much, uh, Nick and Carrie Ann and everyone who came on the stage. There's coffee and Welsh cakes downstairs now in the lower hall. Back at 4.30.